So over the last a year or two, we've started kind of a tradition here near the end of our fiscal year. Uh, so our fiscal year goes from July all the way through June. So when we get to the end of June, June 30th, that's kind of when we wrap everything up from a financial standpoint. We will kind of close out the books, tally everything up, and that will kind of be the end of our fiscal year. And so that actually provides a good uh, opportunity for us as a church to take care of some uh, facility projects, some facility needs, some different things that as we're seeking to be good stewards of the facilities God's blessed us with, and as we're seeking to be good stewards of all the guests that come through our doors week in and week out, uh, we want to finish strong and uh, we even have an opportunity to uh, make some updates from a facilities perspective. We actually did this about a year ago. About a year ago, we told you we were trying to raise some funds there at the end of the year to put in a new baptismal, and I've actually got some before and after pictures of that. Uh, go ahead and take a look. There's the before. Uh, I'm so thankful for the people who put this uh, baptismal in here that was here before, but it had run its course. It had run its course, and uh, you could see some Rust ended up in there near the end and some, some older stairs, and it had actually started leaking, leaking water out down into the basement. Uh, but uh, just this last week, we've got, here's the after picture. There's Jimmy being baptized, and uh, what an incredible, amen, let's praise God for that again. What an incredible joy that is uh, to be able to have that. So thank you so much. We've got one more before and after picture. Near the end there, because it was leaking water, this is what a, a few of our beloved church family members were able to be baptized in. And, uh, and uh, thank you for following the Lord, even though it was a challenge to look at. So uh, we're praising God. Here's an example just from Easter Sunday of uh, some folks from our El Camino campus being baptized here. I want to share with you some of the things that we're looking at uh, between uh, now and the end of June uh, that we would love to be able to take care of. One thing we've talked about is replacing the carpet. The carpet here on the main level out there in the front, out in our family room, and over towards our bathroom. We'll look at kind of updating. You can see there's some tears. There's a whole lot of coffee stains. Now, I love drinking coffee, and I love being able to have coffee in here, but we got some stains that have gone on. And so we've been looking at products that, uh, that are specially ready to go for stains to be able to come right back out. So we've got kind of a before and after of uh, what that could look like. I think we've got one more picture, kind of a mock-up there uh, of some updated, a little bit more modern, uh, really resilient carpet. We've actually got a sample of one that we're looking at over there at our Next Steps table, so if you want to go uh, check that out, you're welcome to do that. But that's something that each of these projects, if we're able to meet all of our need in, uh, in May and in June, Whatever surplus we have, we're able to allocate towards some of these projects. So uh, that's the carpet. We'd also like to, as kind of our number two project, to be able to renovate uh, the bathrooms. So these aren't uh, actual mock-ups. These are just kind of inspiration, uh, kind of a little bit of what we'd like that to look like. But we want to be hospitable for everybody that comes through our doors to come to a safe, clean, up-to-date bathroom. And so that's a little bit of an inspiration of uh, the bathrooms downstairs that we'd like to update. We'd also like to update to some of these chairs. There are some rips and some tears and uh, kind of some worn out cushioning here in some of these chairs. So you can see here in this mock-up, uh, kind of going with uh, an updated gray chair would kind of be the idea of something that we'd be going for. And then each week for our children's ministry, um, uh, they, they uh, use the chairs downstairs as well. So we'd like to update those all throughout uh, the church. And then outside on Wednesday nights, our kids go, they play soccer, they play uh, basketball and things like that. And uh, there's a fence over there that currently looks like uh, that. It's kind of fallen over, it's kind of outdated, and, and our neighbor has updated their fence all the way down through uh, kind of the end of their property. And we'd like to uh, finish that out, have a nice, uh, safe uh, spot for them that is all taken care of. And so those are some of the things we're excited about. Hey, at the end of the year, thank you so much to everyone who continues to give to financially support our gospel work as we're proclaiming the opportunity people have to have their sins forgiven and, uh, and to be back in a relationship with God once again. We also support each month our missionaries. 
10% of everything that's given, uh, we uh, support uh, uh, our, our missionaries around the world who are claiming the gospel in many different languages as well. And so this next slide I just want to kind of show for you. This is also shown on uh, the back of your bulletin. If you got one of those, you can kind of track along uh, the progress over the next couple months during May and June, kind of see where we are. Uh, at the beginning of May, we had a, a small deficit, so we kind of have taken care of that, and we're now making progress. Uh, we kind of got this baseball theme home stretch. It's like home plate, right? We're almost there, kind of that last little bit before we get uh, to our goal. So we'd like to first uh, address number one, kind of go across May ministry and missions. Then number two that's going to fill up is the June ministry and missions. Then number three, once we're able to account for, uh, take care of all of our expenses for May and June, the things that go beyond that are able to first take care of our carpet, then update our restrooms, then sanctuary chairs and uh, the chairs throughout the church, and then the safety fence at the end. So uh, my prayer is, and uh, my encouragement to you is uh, to be in prayer for God to provide, uh, to, for God to provide financially, to take care of some of these things, um, and also for you to pray about uh, taking a step in generosity. I know so many give faithfully week in and week out, and I say thank you so much for that. And if you sense the Lord's leading and you'd like to be a part of some of this, I encourage you uh, to maybe take a step of giving above and and beyond. Or maybe you've never given at the church before and you kind of always thought about it. Well, now's a great time uh, to make a kind of a, not only an eternal impact, but also a tangible impact that will be visible here. So does that sound good? Sound good? We've got some great opportunities ahead of us. We're look, looking forward to all God is going to do here in the days, months, and years to come. And we want to be ready and prepared as God continues to bring people our way.